Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Starfield error code 0xc000001d that you're experiencing upon startup of the Starfield game. So this will typically happen when the ABX instruction set is not enabled on your CPU. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the web browser of your choice. And you want to go ahead and search for Net Framework 2022. And go ahead to .net.microsoft.com. You want to get it directly from Microsoft's own servers here. And you want to select the most up-to-date supported version of Net Framework on this list. Go ahead and open it up. And it should begin downloading the Net Framework application. And you want to select the runtime application here. So go ahead and select that. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up and select yes. So you can see it's already been installed on our computer, but if it was not, go ahead and complete the installation. And then you would select continue and finish installing it. And then you also want to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, show come back left command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that has concluded, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.